हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो दिस इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ माय न्यू सीरीज कॉल एस्ट्रो फोटोग्राफी ऑफ मिल्की वे विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्मार्टफोन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दैट हाउ टू फाइंड द डार्क स्काइज फॉर मिल्की वे विद द हेल्प ऑफ बॉटल स्केल बाय यूजिंग द लाइट पॉल्यूशन नॉलेज ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट वॉट स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ फोन्स प्रोमोट और यू कैन से द फोन्स कैमरा आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर कैप्चरिंग अ गुड इमेज ऑफ मिल्की वे okay so you will be able to know that yes if this specifications are there in my phone then i will be able to capture a good image okay and regarding uh, the other apps for example uh, we need to capture multiple images for milky way for stacking so my phone currently i am using poco x3 since last two and a half years for astrophotography and my phone is poco x3 and it has an inbuilt mode called the time burst mode which allows me to capture multiple images so i don't have to capture the i mean i don't have to click on this shutter button again and again for capturing the multiple images so in other phones uh, this mode is not available so i will also tell you that what other applications are useful for capturing multiple images so all these details regarding the phone specifications and the apps that is additional apps for milky way uh, i'm going to discuss in this video today so make sure you watch the whole video and don't skip any point so that all your doubts will get cleared up so without wasting much time let's begin our today's video okay so first thing that we need to look in the phone's camera is that the pro mode we need to know that whether our phone's camera is supporting pro mode or not okay majority of phones nowadays are supporting the pro mode but still some phone does not have and if some phones are supporting the pro mode then the range of settings is different so second thing is that we need to see the range of setting okay the pro mode is similar to the manual mode of the dslr cameras you might have seen it in the dslr cameras that uh, different uh, features are there in the manual mode like we have the shutter speed option then uh, iso option then aperture option then focusing option and other features also but unlike to the manual mode in the uh, as compared to the manual mode of the dslr in the phone's pro mode we will not be able to change the aperture okay because the lens the aperture of the lens is fixed in phone's camera so once we have known that yes pro mode is there in my phone then we need to open the pro mode and then we have to see these settings the pro mode must be showing these features that is shutter speed iso focusing option white balance and ev that is exposure verification the first four are uh, generally useful and ev is not uh, that much useful i i personally don't use ev Uh, i mean i keep it at zero only i don't uh, change the ev settings okay so first thing is that the shutter speed see shutter speed refers to the time the lens takes to get closed that is the time during which the shutter will remain open and it will get closed after a certain time the shutter speed should be in the range of 1 by 1000 or 1 by 4000 which is the fastest time taken by the shutter to get closed up to the maximum value that is 30 seconds or 32 seconds that is the slowest time period that is taken by the shutter to get close so for example if you have set the shutter speed to be 10 seconds then the shutter will remain up open up to 10 seconds and it will keep keep on capturing the images that is light will be coming in the uh, sensor and it will capture the image for about 10 seconds and after 10 seconds the shutter will get close and your final image will get stored in the gallery okay so once again i am repeating the shutter speed should be in the range of 1 by 1000 to 1 by 4000 that is uh, or 1 by 1000 or 1 by 4000 that is the slowest time up to maximum that is 30 seconds or 32 seconds second thing is that iso in some of the phones i have seen that the iso is in the range of 100 to 1600 but in darker skies we need more than that so ideal range is 100 to 3200 and in some phones it is also available up, up to 6400 so if it is up to 100 to 3200 then it is good okay my phone has 100 to 6400 range but i have not yet used up to that that is uh, highest range of is okay so that is essential the third thing is that uh, white balance which is generally available in the pro mode okay so we just have to see that uh, if uh, manual white balance is there or not or some options must be there that like auto mode is there then fluorescent option is there then daylight option is there okay so generally i keep the white balance to be auto so even if other options are not that we we will be keeping the white balance to be in the auto mode only so that doesn't matter okay the most important is the focusing option that is the fourth option see focusing is very important because the object let's say for example any celestial is celestial 
body is there any constellation is there any star is there or even any planet when we are capturing it with the help of our smartphone we are considering it as a located as a very far point as compared our to our location on the earth it is not close to us so we need to keep the focus to be maximum or let's say the infinite point so we must check that your phone's pro mode has a manual focusing option okay auto is generally there but we need to manually set the focus to the maximum point or the infinite point let's say in our phone's pro mode so we must check that the focus uh, the focusing option should be manual okay and auto both so this is good uh, if your phone is having the focusing in the manual mode so these are the four options then you need to check once again i am repeating shutter speed iso white balance and focusing in some phones shutter speed is there but it is limited up to 10 seconds only in some phones iso is there but it is limited up to 1600 only so you can still capture milky way but from the light polluter skies let's say bottle 5 or bottle 6 where you will need to use the settings in the low range see light pollution will decide what settings we need to keep in our phones pro mode to get the image of the milky way if we are in a light polluted skies then we need to use the lower settings if we are in the darker skies we need to use the higher settings so it is better to have a wide range okay if we are not uh, going to the darker skies at present then you can plan after some time when sky is clear so when you will go on the dark skies then you will need to use the higher range so then the 10 seconds will not be enough for capturing a good image you need 15 seconds 20 seconds of shutter speed and higher range of iso for that okay so that is essential the details regarding this range of settings is already given in the description so you can just note them down from the description now regarding other options for example raw mode nowadays some of the phones are supporting raw mode my phone is poco x3 and it has the raw mode option raw mode is very useful for capturing raw images because after stacking of the raw images and post processing the final output will be very good okay here you can see comparison of two of my images one is the jpg image stacked and post process image and second is the raw image which is stacked in the post process you can clearly see the difference between both of these images okay so if raw mode is there then your phone is very good okay i will suggest that you must uh, use that phone for astrophotography and milky way because raw mode will allow you to capture raw images and these raw images are having the actual data that is captured by the phone sensor while jpg is the same data but in a reduced form so when you will check the size of the raw image and jpg image you will get to see the difference between the sizes okay so this is it the another option is the time burst mode see for capturing the images of milky way we need to uh, have multiple images for stacking sorry for stacking of the milky way okay so one image is not sufficient so we need to have multiple images so this time burst mode is an inbuilt mode in some of the phones my phone also has this time burst mode and some of the mi phones have this uh, time burst mode and i don't know whether the other phones whether it supports or not but if it supports then it is good because this time burst mode will allow us to capture multiple images without uh, clicking the shutter button again and again so it is uh, uh, it, it is allowing you to capture multiple images where you have to set the number of images that you need to capture and the interval between the two images okay so once you have set it then you have to click on the shutter button only once and then the phone's camera will start capturing the images and it will not stop until it has reached the final image so this is very useful if the time burst mode is not there in your phone then can you use the intervalometer application it is a very good application and it is available on the play store i have given the link to download the intervalometer in the description below from where you can download it it is a paid application so if you uh, it is not uh, it is a cheap it is not that it is not costing you that much so it will be uh, a good investment to buy the intervalometer okay it is working same as the time burst mode which i told you the another option is that some of the people i have seen that they are using gcam even though they have the pro mode see the difference between pro mode and gcam is that pro mode will allow you to capture multiple images while gcam will take about 3 to 4 image minutes for capturing only one image in that time let's say if you have kept the shutter speed to be 20 seconds for one image then in that 4 minutes you will be able to capture 12 images that is one image uh, one image will take 20 seconds 
so in 60 seconds that is one minute you will be able to capture three images so in four minutes time where gcam will give you only one image you will be able to capture 12 images with the help of pro mode so that is beneficial for us because after checking the final output will get increased so i am suggesting you that not to use the gcam if you have the pro mode if you don't have pro mode then you can use an application called deep sky camera okay so this deep sky camera is a new application and it is also available on the play store and you can find it on the play store it will give you wide range of shutter speed iso and it also has manual focusing option it is also giving the raw format support okay so it is uh, similar to the pro mode so you can use that deep sky camera if your phone does not have the pro mode okay so this was regarding the phone specifications and the applications that you can use for capturing the milky way and i hope that all your doubts get cleared after watching this video and if you like this video then please like and share it and now onwards i will be uploading the uh, tutorials uh, regularly because earlier i did not get time for recording so uh, i did not have any content uh, to upload on my channel so now i have got somewhat time so i will record it as early as possible and then i will upload it okay so this is it for today's video and please uh, like and share it and thank you for watching it stay tuned for more videos